So you have the digastric, which is sort of an inverted V. You have the mylohyoid, which is triangular shape. You have the V-neck collar on the neck. Right? You have the sternomastoid, which is closer to the sternum, to the midline. And then you have the jugular vein. On the other side of the jugular vein, you have the clitomastoid. Okay, so you have sternomastoid, jugular vein, clitomastoid. And then you have the big uh, flap of, uh, loop of muscle between the uh, sternum and the hyoid bone is the sternohyoid. And on either side of it, you have two smaller loops. The one that goes from the sternum to the thyroid cartilage of the larynx is called the sternothyroid. And the little loop that goes from the thyroid cartilage of the larynx to the hyoid bone is called the thyrohyoid. So the big strap in the middle is the sternohyoid. And the little loops on the side of it, you have the sternothyroid. And the little loop is called the thyrohyoid. Okay, so those are the neck muscles. Now I'm going to turn the cat over. We have the three trapezius muscles. On the back of the neck you have the clavotrapezius. Covering the scapula is the acromiotrapezius. Then on the upper back, this sort of triangular shaped muscle, is the spinotrapezius. So it goes C-A-S, clavo, acromio, spino. Okay, if you look at the side of the back here, all of this is the latissimus dorsi. Okay, and then you have the three deltoids. The flap here that we made is the clavodeltoid. We saw a triangular muscle on the upper shoulder is called the acromiodeltoid. And then this oval-shaped muscle on the upper part of the arm is called the spinodeltoid. So again, CAS, clavodeltoid, acromiodeltoid, spinodeltoid. And the diagonal band between the acromiodeltoid and the acromiotrapezius is called the levator scapulae ventralis. So this band here is called levator scapulae ventralis because it lifts the scapula of the cat. Yeah. Okay.